hello everyone this is the voice of mr solution i quickly want to put us through on how to use the tab trader currently i'm logged in that is how the interface looks like okay now as you can see these are just the coins that have been monitoring for a very long time now so don't really bother about don't ask why these things i i intentionally put them because i've been monitoring them for months now okay so this is how the interface looks like now for you to select the very coin you want to observe you want to select the coin and the exchange you want to and monitor it on just click on this plus sign here when you tap on it okay you see over here you can see search exchange and pair now you you have the option of maybe choosing any of the exchanges you're looking at we have bitmes bitbay bitstam Bitfinance, Binance, Bitrest, and a whole lot of them, a whole lot of all these exchanges now. Okay, so what I what I I normally do is that when it comes to this place, I just choose the coin. Let's say I want to I want to search for um um SRP. Okay, SRP SRP comes up. You will see the various pairs that SRP has and the various exchanges where they are traded. Okay, so it's either you go by that way. Let's say I want to analyze SRP USD on BitBay. I just click on it. It's selected. Maybe I also want to monitor it via Bitfinex. I click on Bitfinex. As I'm tapping on it, it's also, okay, be noted down. Okay, so even if I exit, I can always keep my eyes on them. Now, that's one way. Another way, another way is, make, you can, is that you can search for... Um, the coin using the exchange for instance kucoin you click on kucoin you tap right kucoin okay now all the various coins that are tradable on kucoin comes out and one very good thing about this thing is that every coin there is um every coin here is arranged in alphabetical order okay you have the option of okay going through searching for the very coin you're looking for alphabetically on the that very exchange okay that you want to um monitor it on so alphabetically we could just be clicking down until it, it gets to, to the very coin you want to observe okay let's say i want to monitor uh, btt and ethereum on kucoin exchange i tap on it and if i eventually exit here if i exit here and go to to my home page okay see all those coins i selected they are here look at um this is this is um Okay, this is um, BTT Ethereum on Kukun Exchange, the one we, the last one we selected. The same thing also applicable. I chose between S SRP and BTC. It's also shown here. It's also indicated here. So that's how it works. Any of the coins you want to observe, so go to this watch list and maybe once you click on it, sorry, let me, as I say, once you click on the search button, okay, it's eventually it opens up an avenue for you to do your searches okay all right so that's all for this very one and another thing is also you can also change the interface if you don't like the arrangement you have the option of changing it to have another format to do that just go to this very place now go to this area here go to this area okay let me brush okay brush all right go to this area it's if you want to want to change how the how the format is go to this area once you click on it it changes and okay, gives you another format if you click on it again it's this their other format goes off and this very new format comes and you want to go back to the previous one click here the same place and it changes the format so that's it for observing okay now i i want to do maybe i want to do my analysis i want to do the analysis on that very coin the same thing applicable go to the very coin you, you're looking at click tap on it as let's say i'm i'm trying to look at srp usd on on this bitbay exchange okay i circle this so that i will take note of what i'm talking about now once you click on it it loads and brings you to this new phase this new area well let's not look at it i think the chat is, is the chat is not really encouraging it's, it's so shabby okay let's go for another one okay let's go with btt ethereum 
yeah something like this okay so this is how it looks normal chart normal um, chart candlestick this is how it the format is always looks like okay now you you want to do your analysis here yeah? you want to do your technical analysis using this tab trader there are virtually everything you need is already is already provided here for you is already in the soft the software that you need are already embedded on the app okay so what you have to do maybe you you, you want to change your time frame currently now it's on currently it's on 30 minutes time frame okay is on 30 minutes time frame and you want to change the time frame just click on this place zero m30 m30 simply means 30 minutes okay you click on 30 minutes and it brings you to other um, time frames that we have it could be one minute m1 is one minute m5 five minutes m10 is 10 minutes m15 15, 15 minutes and so forth and so forth and so forth and and then um, we have H1, this is one hour, we have H4, we have D1, D1 is one day, D4 is four days, W1 is one week, W2 is two weeks, then MN is month. That means you want to do your analysis on monthly, monthly basis, you want to analyze the chart on a, chart on a monthly basis, you want to click on the MN, it brings you, everything here is what has happened, okay, in the various months okay in the various months okay so if you look at it this if you look at this in very well now you discover that the chart is not really much on the candlesticks are not much rather on the on the um, monthly time frame why probably because it's not been long and um, btt ethereum was introduced to kucoin exchange so that everything here is shows how far the, the how how long um btt ethereum has been on kucoin judging from um the monthly the time frame that's the monthly basis okay now if you want to change it to other um time frames you could have one minute okay this one shows you minutes per minute candles candlestick pattern formations per minute for the the very um btt ethereum that we are observing also want to change it to maybe m15 that's for the 15 minutes time frame each of the candlesticks here represents 15 minutes each of the candlestick formation here represents 15 minutes so what it means is that per, per, per candlestick you see here shows what happened in the previous 15 minutes okay i remember that candlesticks they they kind of talk about past things they don't tell about future things okay so but we always love to analyze do our na analysis using candlestick because they kind of tell us um what happened before because one thing in, about trading is that the past always uh, repeats itself okay so if part, the past repeats itself you can always um use what happened before to kind of um know what will happen in the future okay so that's just the essence of the candlestick for it tells you what is going to what happened before if something happened before there's a probability that it would occur again and also it somehow could tell you of what would happen in the future that's when we talk about candlestick formation when you see this kind of um candlestick formation know that something like this is going to happen if you see um held and shoulder formation inverted head and shoulder formation and the rest of them and the rest of them okay could tell us that this is what is going to happen and um, in the future kind of it's try to predict what is going to happen so it is it's an interplay of past and future so to say but then i think the emphasis is more on the past okay so let we are not talking about candlestick formation right now we are just talking about how to use the tab trader and also you 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 can always do your for those of us that love using um what's it called the 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 charts okay all right um those of us that love to chat with indicators tap trader also gives you that option of um choosing all the indicators or any indicator you want to do that click on that very place i went to let me let me footnote let me emphasize on it okay this is where you get it this is blocking it this is where you get it this thing that looks like a thunderbolt so to say looks like um a rainbow kind of i don't know yeah 
once you click on it and you all these things come out maybe you now choose the uh, the one you want to analyze with okay you have accelerator decelerator accelerator decelerator oscillator also mean the oscillator bollinger band and a whole lot of them just choose the very one you want to use and okay once you select it it comes a, it gets pinned okay these ones here are the ones i i i, I was using so to say so as it is here if i want to if i want to display on my chart all i have to just to come here and switch it on switch all these things on and i go back to the very um, the very chart i'm analyzing everything is shown but well this is just for educational purposes and no sane person would want to work with this kind of thing because i think it's too bogus for me okay so that's just it for a, if you want to use an um, indicator for those who are good at using indicators okay once you select it it comes in then you can maybe make your judgment and make your analysis from what you can see another point that is worthy of notice that you also okay if you now want to do your drawing your you want to do your technical analysis proper by drawing your um support your resistance your um formation and the rest of them so this is where you go this thing that looks like a pencil is here it looks like a pencil okay that's it once you tap on it it brings you out these various drawing tools that you can always use to do your drawing and you know look at the chart and know the formations and how they work and then you have the option of choosing the color you want to use because the essence of choosing color is that is so that it doesn't confuse you because if you if you're using a particular color for your various um charts for your uh, various charts yes, you might get confused so tap trader gives you this option of um choosing any color you want so that you don't get confused in in the process okay that's of that's that for that then there is also the option of um maybe you want to be receiving a lot maybe you're too busy like myself you, you could be doing various things and you you might not really have time to you know monitor your trade and all that you could you could you could activate the um alerts okay the, this bell sign here this bell ringer sign here okay once you once you go there and you click on it it gives you this option of setting what you want if you if you want to be alerted when it crosses and um, when btt ethereum crosses above or below 202 gray just set it there and okay once you set it let's say it, once you go if it goes above 205 gray i want them to alert me and if i want the alert to come consistently because it might be coming i might i might not really be with my phone also if i want the chart alert to be coming consistent consistently to be persistent all i have to do just to go to this persistent and switch it on okay so that even if i'm i'm too busy or i'm not there it's the 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 um alert will always be present always be popping up on my phone so click on it and you've activated it you also have the option of choosing any color you want like i said it's an an array of various color that will, so that you don't get confused and then you add notes okay this 202 okay for here I'm, for here i'm setting that i should be alerted when it gets to 205 gray what should i do when it gets to the is it that i should sell or i should buy okay just set whatever it is you want to do at this point but these things are just optional okay maybe i should just rejoice and say lambo i've made money or something like just set whatever thing it is or maybe maybe anything once you're done with it just click on save it has automatically saved alerts register so whenever it gets to that point you would be alerted even if you're busy then we talked about the when when we, the introductory class was to come you know we talked about um linking your accounts and all that maybe you want to be doing your transactions you want to be doing your buying and your selling via this type trader okay you it's it's possible all you have to is just to add if you already have an existing account just add it or register but then there is a caveat to this method the caveat is that you should ensure that you do not um, activate 
withdrawal from a third party okay so if you're trying to do your be doing your transactions using the app maybe you're trading on coin or binance or whatever or bitmes or whatever exchange make sure you don't uh, you disable withdrawal from third party apps because if if you eventually allow it i am not saying it would happen but perchance it occurs perchance your account gets hacked and all that so that people wouldn't hackers wouldn't really withdraw your money from this and um, app from this third party app so maybe you want to link your account just go ahead and add or maybe you want to register just go ahead and register and all that so that's just all for the um the little introduction the little lecture on how um, the tap trader thing works okay so here we talked about linking accounts and yes also i i omitted this it, it's this thing this um software this app has add okay you have an option of removing the ad if you want as you can see here my own is not removed but maybe if you want to have a bigger a bigger interface a bigger picture you can always remove the ad i think the charge is it 15 or there about i don't really currently remember because i'm not conversant with it okay you can always remove the ad so that you have a broader view of whatever you're looking at now we also have maybe you want to do more settings i mean you want to reconfigure it to suit how you want it to be you want to activate the security feature security lock feature okay the application lock you have the option of choosing four digits that locks the app for you okay just and most of us those of us already have it that i'm sure you must have gone through this okay maybe you want to be notified sound wise and all that you can always go there and choose the sound you want to be notified with so that's all for the um the tab trader thing okay if there is any other thing i think as, as the class progresses and um, we'll trash it or maybe you have any other question if there is a part of the app that is not too clear to you can always ask and it will be addressed okay thank you